It's summertime. Damn it. So technically it's not summertime. It's still March, but it's 70 degrees and it's gonna be like 80 degrees right now. It's March freaking second. So I decided to take a little break from the technology stuff that I was doing. I'm over here shooting B-roll on like a dash cam thinking to myself, you know what? I really wanna make sure this thing still runs. So I gotta get it out. Like I have to like, I have to like dig it out. Can't hear it over that, but it's good to get these uh, generators running every once in a while, get the juices flowing, make sure everything works good. That way when you really need it, it's ready for you. It's just good practice. You can turn it down. I don't want that shit to run. There we go. Much quieter now without the big uh, uh, compressor over there. So I love this thing. It doesn't give you a ton of power, but it's got a really low idle and it only kicks on, like seriously, one of the quietest on the market. Only kicks on loud if it absolutely needs to, but it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna let this run for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, make sure those juices are flowing and I can put it back. This has definitely turned into some sort of a miniature spring cleaning event. Just kind of clear all this stuff out a little bit. Here comes the moment of truth. Look at that sexy ass. Oh, yeah. So I kind of sort of cleared out a spot for this to pull out. Uh, I, I literally, I have a battery tender, but I did not hook it up. So I'm really kind of worried that this battery died. I hope it didn't because it should be new enough. This is a 2020. So um, I'm just kind of hoping everything's going to be okay. But uh, yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it out and like, just drive it for a second, like maybe up and down the block for just a moment. Power. so good you did so good you're gonna be a four-wheeler companion in no time yes you are oh you want some water you want some water let's go get some water come on let's get some water okay honestly it's got a little bit of a dip in its step it kind of like like bounces no matter what speed i'm going unless i'm going really fast so i think because it sat over the winter for so long with kind of lower tires because lower is better for mud uh i think maybe it weakened one of the walls so i'm gonna air this thing up make it over inflated to the maximum whatever it should be and then ride it again and see if that fixes it if not it's a deeper issue literally at zero unless hold on did i get this on all the way maybe yep L zero. All right, had to break out the regular air hose compressor, actually. Just was not taking air until I got it over like four PSI. And then I was able to precision it with this. I mean, it's really low PSI.
really do love this machine. It's fun. And I wish I would drive it more. <laughs> Man, I am on a roll today. Like, again, it's just it's the weather, just whatever. There's a lot of factors here, but I'm feeling fucking good. So let me show you what I'm doing. That is stupid, but I haven't done it in a long time. I was going to do it completely different. But because that was such of a pain in the ass, I never did it. So I installed these heaters. Look at this. These heaters, I have two of these on both sides. These are absolutely the best thing I have ever done to my garage. I used to keep it about 71 degrees in here year round, no matter how cold it was. Yes, that cost $250 and I have since then set it down usually at about 70, 55. So, uh, Pretty much, they're just kind of dangling there. One staple just holding it. It's upside down, barely even functioning. And I was like, you know, I got to fix that. So now over here, this is the second thermostat because it is dual thermostat. And pretty much, I just screwed it to the wall, actually routed it up, and I'm about to take a staple gun. And yes, it will look a little janky, but I'm going to just route it all the way up, out of the way, and at least it looks better. It's a huge improvement, but... I'm just on a roll and I'm feeling it. I do, however, have a sneaky suspicion. It's crooked as fuck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's crooked as fuck. It'd be like, be like that. But you know what? I don't even care. Speaking of things that I have put off since I finished this garage, again, 95%er, the rest of the 5% is just monotonous crap, but uh, I got the loading thing for my four-wheeler. I got a ladder. I got some other, another ladder. I got that ladder. So, uh, you know, I have crap to put this on the wall, right? And that would get them off the floor and, like, be better. I just haven't put them up yet. Also, I have these tool things here that I was planning on putting on a wall somewhere. I just haven't really figured out, like, do I want it right there? I want it right there. I don't know, right? Probably over there, but I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna clear all this out, get rid of that old one, throw that away, get out anything that I want in there. But the idea here, I think, is going to be hanging stuff, right? Brooms, shovels, squeegees, uh, that thing that hit me in the head earlier today. I got my, my weed eater. I mean, just the broom. Like all this stuff needs to go on the wall somewhere and I really need to take that out. That's, that's priority number one. Hi, puppy. Arr, oh, you're so, so good, puppy. Did you have a good ride? Yes, you did, yeah. Okay, so I took Luna, Luna on a really good ride. She seemed to really enjoy it. Now, I can't get her anywhere near this thing. She's scared the hell out of it. Like she seemed to enjoy the ride, but Luna, come on, come on. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. Come on. Come on. Oh, what's wrong, Luna? <laughs> you scared of that? Oh, you're gonna have some work. You were like this with baths first. So I'm gonna get you to like this thing. Tell you what. Got a lot of stuff done, a lot of like boxes cleared out. Got them like put in the cabinets, which I just kind of had them sitting in here, taking up spot. But so much room finally that just kind of cleared out, which is nice. Uh, a bunch of cleaning stuff and oil. I mean, it's just finally cleaned up. I really don't think that I am ready to tackle on mounting stuff to a wall. I'm gonna have to go look at that first. And I, I just don't know about that yet because I think that I'm gonna to wanna to paint like a two by four or a couple two by fours and then put them up there on the wall. And that way I just have a solid two by four and I don't have to worry about studs aside from mounting the two by four. So that's gonna be kind of like a thing as far as having to paint that white and make it blend in. So um, I'm not really ready for that. So I'm just gonna put these ladders back up against the wall. But nonetheless, I cleared up a ton of space, got things, really clean comparatively to what they were before and i'm feeling pretty good about the uh, progress i made today so overall not too bad and there you go just gotta move the four-wheeler back in car back in god it is night and day wow you 
these old little girls <laughs> over yeah. here. Fats aren't so bad. See, fats aren't so bad. So to bring my tech break of a day to an end, I need to prepare for the next step, which is going to be tech stuff. I have a monitor, I got a dash cam, I actually have a new inverter that I need to review and to actually get B-roll of, and then start review. That was the dog toy. And to do that, I need to clear my area. I know this isn't the last Jason Bites back, but basically I have decided because every single time I take out the RC car so she can chase it, two things happen. One, she hurts herself. Last time was, well, it was like really bad. Two, I always break something, no matter what. Like right now, like I don't even know why this doesn't work, but it, it, it everything always breaks. I thought upgrading it was a, the way to go, and it's not. So I'm going to be putting this, everything in a box with all the stuff that goes with it and all the bags and shelving it. One day I'll get back in RC cars. I'll find a better, safer, faster, whatever. And then she will enjoy it thoroughly. But until then, I'm over it and I'm putting it on a shelf. It really was just kind of like one of those things like you get it and then it's fun and then it breaks and then you're already like way into it. So you just keep digging your hole. And finally, finally I hit rock and I'm just like, nope, I'm done. As you can see, most of the stuff was tires. I went through tire after tire because she would just destroy them and I glue them back together, but then they would just be too bad. And then I got too big of tires and that messed with it just, you know, is a learning experience, but I bought multi-tool kits and this is just a random kit with a bunch of spare parts in it. So next time I get into this, which I want to, because she really enjoys it, maybe I'll have some better luck and I'll be a little bit more prepared because I have a bunch of tools and spare parts and crap that I need. But until then, it's going in the box. And now that that is all clear, well, clear-ish, <laughs> you won't see it on the camera. We end with the next thing in line. It's a dash cam. Not exciting, but I wanted one. It's gonna take a while to review it because I wanna get some good footage, but I'm mediocrely excited. Although I got a new inverter. It is a 12 volt. So meant for something smaller, but it does handle up to 4,000 watts. I may or may not have to buy more batteries in order to test it all the way to that capacity, but I don't think I'm going to because that's expensive and it's blue. But there you go. That's going to be the next, uh, next, next thing. Well, that's it for the non-tech vlog of the day, guys. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching and have yourself a great night.